shooting is safe because firearm users abide by a strict safety code, which has been practiced for years. It's very easy to follow and basically comes down to common sense. That's why shooting is one of the safest sports and is enjoyed by people of all ages. Safe handling of firearms prevents injury to shooters and non-shooters alike. Whether it's for vermin control, hunting or target shooting, the same basic safety principles apply. All new firearms licence applicants in New South Wales must complete an approved course in firearm safety. It is now mandatory to pass a knowledge test and demonstrate your ability to handle firearms safely before you can apply for a firearms licence. This video is designed to demonstrate the correct way of handling firearms. Firearms are broadly described as either long arms or handguns. Most modern long arms are either rifles or shotguns. A rifle fires a single projectile or bullet. Shotguns, on the other hand, can fire either a single slug or multiple pellets called shot. Shotguns are normally used at shorter ranges and generally at moving targets. There are several types of shotguns and rifles and they are usually distinguished by the type of action or mechanism they use to load and fire a round of ammunition. Air rifles use compressed air to propel a lead projectile along the barrel. The compressed air can be stored either in an air bottle or a pump inside the rifle. Brake action firearms have a simple loading mechanism. Almost every sporting shotgun has a brake action. Lever action firearms use a handle or lever to load and cock the firearm ready for firing. A slide or pump action firearm uses a sliding forend instead of a lever to activate the loading and cocking mechanism. With self-loading or semi-automatic firearms, the shooter does not have to manually operate the action between each shot. Each time a round is fired, the action loads and cocks automatically. Muzzle loading firearms do not use cartridges. Instead, a measured amount of gunpowder is poured directly down the barrel and a projectile is pushed down on top of the powder. Black powder, or a synthetic substitute called Pyrodex, is used in muzzle-loading firearms and extra care is required as it is more volatile than the newer smokeless powders. But the most common type of firearm mechanism is the bolt action and is found in many single-shot and repeating rifles and some shotguns. Here are the basic components of a bolt-action rifle. The action, the barrel, and the stock. The action is the mechanism which contains the parts that enable the rifle to be loaded, cocked, fired, then unloaded by extracting and ejecting the used cartridge. Those parts are the bolt, trigger, the chamber and the magazine. When the bolt is moved forward, it picks up a live round from the magazine and feeds it into the chamber. The bolt locks the action, holding the live round ready for firing. This movement of the bolt also cocks the firing pin spring inside the bolt. The trigger mechanism is the connection between the firing pin and the shooter. The barrel on a rifle is the hollow tube, which is lined with spiralling grooves called rifling that cause the projectile or bullet to spin on its axis, providing greater accuracy. The magazine is used on repeating firearms to store the ammunition ready for loading into the action. The stock is the general term for the parts of the firearm held by the shooter. The butt is held to the shoulder. The forend is usually held by the other hand to support the rifle. Some firearms have a safety catch. When fitted, this device prevents the trigger or action from being operated accidentally. Never ever rely on a safety catch to prevent firing when there is a live round in the chamber. Ammunition is generally described as centre fire or rim fire depending on which part of the base of the cartridge is struck by the firing pin. 
The cartridge or round of ammunition is made up of the primer, which, when struck by the firing pin, causes a small explosion to ignite the propellant or gunpowder, which burns rapidly, causing expanding gases to force the projectile or bullet from the cartridge case and along the barrel. There are four basic rules to ensure firearm safety. First, every firearm must be treated as if it is loaded. Never assume that a firearm is empty by its outward appearance. Always point a firearm in a safe direction and never allow the muzzle to point at another person. Never load a live round into the chamber of a firearm until you are ready to shoot and keep your finger clear of the trigger until you are ready to shoot. Remember, safety is always the top priority when handling a firearm. Pick up a firearm carefully with the barrel pointed in a safe direction. Open the action to see that the chamber is empty. After checking that the firearm is safe, that is, not loaded with ammunition, keep the action open so you and everyone around you can see it is empty and be assured that there is no possibility of the firearm discharging. When a firearm is being passed from one person to another, the action must be kept open and the barrel pointing in a safe direction. When carrying a firearm, again, make sure the barrel is always pointed in a safe direction, away from people, vehicles or habitation. To get past a fence or other obstacles, place the unloaded firearm with the action open in a safe position so it doesn't get in your way. Firearms can be passed between each other in a safe manner. Never hand your firearm to an unlicensed person. Before preparing to shoot, positively identify the target and ensure that the firing zone is clear. Make sure you know what is behind your target. Do not shoot at flat hard surfaces or the surface of water as the bullet may ricochet and cause damage to you, other people or property. When shooting at a target shooting range, the range officer has absolute control of all activities and their commands must be followed. When moving into the firing position, make sure the action is open and the barrel is pointing in a safe direction. Never place any ammunition in a firearm until the load command has been given. Shooters, load. These are simple directions, but must be followed by all shooters to ensure that there is no chance of injury to people or damage to property. Should a malfunction occur, make the firearm safe by keeping your finger away from the trigger and the barrel pointing in a safe direction. One common malfunction is a misfire. This is when the firearm does not discharge when the trigger is pulled. Do not immediately open the action. Wait at least 30 seconds, as the round may go off unexpectedly. However, if a live round becomes stuck in the chamber and it is not discharged, open the action, remove the bolt, and keep the barrel pointed in a safe direction. Immediately call the range officer when on a target shooting range. When in the field, do not attempt to remove the live round. Take your firearm to a gunsmith keeping the bolt removed to prevent any accidental discharge. Another malfunction is when a cartridge case becomes jammed while cycling the action or after firing. Most jams will be easily and safely cleared. Again, make sure the barrel is pointed in a safe direction at all times. Shooting must stop when the range officer calls cease fire. Cease fire! When finished shooting, remove the magazine and bolt and check that the chamber is empty. Clear to remove. Thank you. Knowing how to clean and maintain your firearm is essential as it will help prevent malfunctioning. Cleaning removes accumulation of gunpowder residue and fouling from ammunition. Oiling will help prevent rust building up on the barrel in action. Most firearms manufacturers, gunsmiths and cleaning equipment suppliers have information about the correct cleaning procedures for their products. 
When placing a firearm in or removing it from a vehicle, check that the action is open and clear of any ammunition. Make sure that firearms are transported securely to prevent misuse or theft. Never store firearms and ammunition together and never allow unlicensed people to have access to your firearm or ammunition. Furthermore, you must be familiar with the legal requirements for possession and use, not only in New South Wales, but any state or territory that you may visit with firearms. To conclude, treat every firearm as if it is loaded. Never assume that a firearm is empty by its outward appearance. Oh. Always point a firearm in a safe direction. Always swing in this direction yep. with the barrels away from the shooters. Always move from lane five to lane one on empty chambers. Okay. Like and never okay. allow the muzzle to point at another person. Never load a live round into the chamber of a firearm until you're ready to shoot. Keep ammunition away from the rifle until it's required. And keep your finger clear of the trigger until you are ready to shoot. Once you have understood everything in this training course and passed the tests, you are ready to apply for your firearms licence or permit. And you're ready to shoot. Yeah. Thank you. This is your start to enjoyable and above all, safe shooting. When you first move to the city, it's natural to miss some things. My dad taught my brothers and I how to shoot and we'd often go out spotlighting for rabbits and foxes. It's just a natural part of growing up in the bush. And I became a pretty good shot too. So one of the first things I did when I moved here was look for somewhere to shoot. And well, here I am at the Double S Double A. The Double S Double A, the Sporting Shooters Association of Australia. Quite simply, the SSAA is the peak organisation for sporting shooters in Australia. Since its beginning in the late 40s, the SSAA has grown to over 120,000 members from all states and territories and promotes a vast range of target shooting disciplines. Many of the members hunt feral and game animals too. In fact, hunting is a major activity for SSAA and I'll talk more about that in a moment. There's over a dozen target shooting disciplines that the association has developed over the years for rifle, pistol and shotgun. Each of these disciplines offers shooters something different. The first the SSAA became involved with was bench rest, so named because benches are used to support the rifle for steadiness. This is precision shooting using highly tuned rifles, and carefully loaded ammunition. This match suits people who have patience and attention to detail. By contrast, there are a number of competitions which are less about technical precision and more about hand-eye coordination. This is metallic silhouette. It works a bit like a shooting gallery, knocking over metal cut-out targets. Oh, it looks easy. Not. Another event gaining popularity is single action. This reminds me of when my brothers and I used to dress up as cowboys. It's a lot of fun and people take pride in using the firearms which are a part of our early history. You know, this dressing up thing could be catching. Field rifles simulate some of the firing positions used when hunting. In competitions, some use their actual hunting rifle, 
while others choose highly customised ones. Stand by. At some branches, one of the fastest growing sports, especially among women, is pistol shooting. Well, I've always wanted to try it, but um, my boyfriend kept telling me it was a man's sport. But I gave it a go anyway, and I've never looked back since. <laughs> so I see. One of the things the sporting shooters are passionate about is introducing juniors to the safe handling of firearms. Okay, juniors, load and make ready. The junior development program is also strongly supported by parents and schools. And some juniors go on to become world-class shooters. That's how Olympic champion Michael Diamond started. That's certainly a big improvement on last year. Thank you. So far we've looked at just a few of the dozen or so target shooting activities on offer. Hunting is a major activity, so much so that the SSAA has established a hunting and conservation program. This allows property owners to use the skills of hunting members to control pests and vermin. This is a win-win situation. Members can have access to hunting properties to pursue their sport and at the same time help to preserve our valuable rural resources. The SSAA has hundreds of branches and affiliated clubs throughout the country. Just contact the head office in your state to find out which branch is closest to you. Each capital city has at least one shooting complex close to the metropolitan area. And most regional branches have a shooting range. Some cities have indoor shooting ranges and others have facilities like this. You'll find throughout the SSAA the staff are really helpful. They can offer advice about firearms or filling out license applications. I mean, anything really. You might be better off turning that around the other way so you can see that. Thanks. Being Australia's largest sporting shooters organisation, the SSAA offers its members benefits and privileges not normally available to other shooters, such as generous insurance coverage and a magazine, which are all included in the annual membership fee. So if you'd like to try shooting as a sport, the best way to start is with the Sporting Shooters Association of Australia. It's serious fun and a great sport.